Hello everyone and welcome to Decentrally. In this video I'm going to talk about Chainlink. From my point of view it's one of the most interesting ICOs in 2017 because it's trying to solve real problems and it could really help the adoption process of blockchain technology. So what is Chainlink? Chainlink is basically a middleware that connects smart contracts and off-chain resources such as data feeds, APIs and any other resources that are outside of the closed system of the blockchain. Because blockchain is a closed system, it needs secure data feeds or so-called oracles between the real world and blockchain. And Chainlink wants to provide those secure oracles that will provide information like sports scores, interest rates, stock prices, GPS data and so on. You will always need oracles if you want to use smart contracts in some real-world use cases and really benefit from the technology. Chainlink wants to solve one of the biggest problems in the smart contract structure. I don't see that lots of projects are working to tackle this problem and this makes Chainlink even more attractive among all those ICOs that mostly try to solve unexisting problems. The project wants to create a Chainlink network. The Chainlink network is a decentralized network of Chainlink nodes that will sell usage of specific data feeds, APIs and off-chain payment capabilities directly to a smart contract. So any data provider or individual developer can join the network simply by connecting an API. Once the API they want to offer is connected to the smart contract system, they become a Chainlink node operator and will be responsible for keeping the data feed connected to the internet so it can fulfill the requests in real time. The currency of Chainlink network is going to be linked tokens that will be distributed on the token sale. The network is probably going to launch in 2018. Now let's talk about the team behind the project. The team has been working on this oracle since 2014, so they are experienced in that field. Currently there are only two people in the team. Yeah, it's not the biggest one out there, but, but they are trusted professionals in the blockchain space and really seem to be dedicated to the project and working hard to achieve their goals. List of advisors is really impressive. It includes Ivan Cheng, who created the low-level machine code that is running on almost every device and is currently a director of engineering at Facebook. The list of advisors also includes Hudson Jameson, who is one of the key members in the Ethereum Foundation. Hudson even wrote an article on his blog explaining why he is advising the project. And another great thing about Chainlink is that they are working with Swift on the Swift Smart Oracle. Swift is used by over 11,000 banks worldwide, so this partnership really makes Chainlink stand out of the crowd. Now about the link token and its use case. As I mentioned, link tokens will be used as a currency in the ecosystem of Chainlink. And if Chainlink manages to become the main provider of the secure oracles, the network is going to be huge and link tokens will also rise in price. But there are no dividends and no buyback system to reduce the supply. So if the ecosystem fails to grow, the value of link token is not going to be really big. And also only a small part of the total supply is going to be distributed on the crowd sale, just 35%. It's definitely not the best deal out there, but if the ecosystem succeeds, then we won't have to worry about the price. One concern for investors is that Chainlink is not really active on social media and the team is not very communicative. But they seem to be focusing on development and I don't think it's a big problem. To summarize, I think that Chainlink is a pretty good ICO from investor standpoint. I'm not sure about short term gains, but in the long run it could be successful. Thanks for watching, until the next time.